Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you are all doing very well. So in the previous video, you have learned about the first and second round of the fight between mongoose and the cobra. You also got to know that the mina and the crow also took part in the fight but could get nothing. Now in today's video, you will know the climax of the battle. So look into your book, paragraph number 15. The third round followed the same course as the first, but with one dramatic difference. The crow and the mana is still determined to take part in the proceedings dived at the cobra, but this time they missed each other as well as their mark. The mana flew on and reached its, its bridge and reached its perch, but the crow tried to pull up in the air and turn back. In the second that it took the bird to do this, the cobra whipped his head back and is struck with great force. He is snort thudding against the crow's body. So now in the third round of the battle, actually what happened when this third round of the battle started, so this round was just like the first one. It means the cobra attacked on the mongoose and missed. But this time there was a change. Actually what happened, those two birds, the mana and the crow, they also tried to attack on the cobra in the same manner as they did in the first and second round. But this time they did not hit each other and miss the target also. So the mana somehow managed to get, get back to the cactus plant where he was sitting but the crow could not return as he tried to stop in the air and turn back this took some seconds and that was enough for the cobra to attack so within those seconds the crow needed to return the cobra turned back and attack the and attack on the crow with full force so what happened with the crow after this attack? So look into your book, para paragraph number 16. I saw the bird flung nearly 20 feet across the garden. It fluttered about for a while, then lay still. The mina remained on the cactus plant and when the snack and the mongoose returned to, to the fight, very wisely decided not to interfere again. The cobra was weakening, and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it, raised himself on his short leg, and with a lightning snap had the big snake by, by the snout. The cobra right and lashed about in a frightening manner, and even coiled itself about the mongoose but to no avail. The little fellow hung grimly the little fellow hung grimly on until the snake had ceased to struggle. He then smelled along its quivering board length, gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes. So actually what happened when the cobra attacked on the crow forcefully and his snout hit the crow's body so the crow fell 20 feet away and kept shaking its body for some time but then it became still and died. The mana was still sitting on the cactus plant. He did not interfere in the fight after this. Now the mongoose and the cobra returned to fight again. But now the cobra was so tired and felt weakness because of continuous attack and getting no result. So very cleverly the cobra decided not to attack. But when the mongoose knew that the cobra was tired and weak, it started attacking more, more fearlessly. The, the mongoose stood up on its leg and very quickly jump on the snake and caught the snake by its snot. 
the cobra started the cobra started twist, uh, twisting its body in pain and lashed about in a frightening manner it means the snake moved very quickly and violently and coiled itself about the mongoose in short the cobra struggled hard but couldn't get out because mongoose caught the snake very tightly so finally the snake stopped struggling and after a while it died the mongoose smelled the shivering body of the snake and then caught by by its hood and drag it into the bushes it means the mongoose took the snake by the hood and took it into the bushes this is how the mongoose defeated the cobra and won the battle and now come to the last paragraph the mana dropped cautiously to the to the ground hobbled about peered into the bushes from a safe distance and then with a shrill cry of congratulation flew away so after seeing the crow's end mina could not dare come down and took part in the battle so the mina was sitting on the cactus plant and when the mongoose dragged the cobra into the bushes the mina came down from the cactus plant very carefully went close and looked into the bushes and then congratulated in a high pitch sound and then flew away now here this chapter completes i hope it's very clear to everyone thank you very much for watching this video